Hi Virgo! This is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 29th of March 2021. I'm gonna I'm going to draw two cards per day for every day of this week. So Monday 29th of March and you have nine of cups. Tuesday four of pentacles. Wednesday, King of Pentacles. Thursday, King of Wands. Friday, Ten of Pentacles. Saturday, the Wheel of Fortune. And Sunday, the Hierophant. Your influencing energy is Six of Pentacles. We'll pair it just now to see what it's all about. Now Monday, Nine of Cups with Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles Tuesday with King of Pentacles, now King of Pentacles Wednesday with King of Swords, King of Wands, lots of Kings on Thursday with Judgment, Ten of Pentacles with Page of Cups, the Bill of Fortune with Four of Swords and the Hierophant with the High Priestess. Six of Cups with Six of Pentacles, double six. Energy for change. Okay, um, something that is given to take, somebody is there helping you with something that you need. And it is a person who is dear to you, somebody who knows you from a long time ago, a person that you know from a long time ago, maybe from your childhood. Okay, and, and you are very grateful in here. You are receiving or giving something, by all means, give and take, all kind on your side. You are very grateful, very kind. Um, this is a lovely relationship with another person. Person, somebody that you know for long from long time ago that's your influencing energy for some reason important this week as well Monday with nine of cups and eight of swords something that you wanted for yourself appears that it appears in your life on Monday and it seems it's not that what you wanted it's not that what you thought that it's going to be all right you know when we say careful what you wish for it seems you wished for something but once it came it arrived you've got it you know that what you wanted that what you thought that you want it's actually brought you in a kind of unfavorable situation you feel that it is not what you wanted but you kind of cannot change your mind right now that what you said you wanted it you wished for that you asked for that maybe that what you asked that help that you needed but kind of brought you in kind of very sticky situation you didn't have your say anymore you couldn't get out of the situation even that you didn't like it you didn't like what what you've got okay perhaps you ask for help perhaps you ask for something from another person but then perhaps brought brought some obligations for you as well I don't know did have some did have some price uh, that you didn't count on that was your Monday rather unfavorable but now four of Pentacles with King of Pentacles within you. Now, King of Pentacles energy, you really gonna like. That is your energy, that's what you like. It's uh, feeling very good about yourself, understanding, understanding values and everything that is happening around you, putting value. Why is it important and good for you? Uh, what is paying off in your life, what is worthless? That one, that energy is all about it. You can put value in everything. Being good, business mind, budgeting, knowing it, planning your future, your savings, your pension fund, your business. You see what I'm saying? All of it with King of Pentacles. Very solid energy related to your money, to your business, to your career. How to organize your life in an effective way. King of Pentacles is the king of it. All right. Now, four of pentacles in your environment is amount of money, something that you have for yourself, something that you can count on. That's what you are busy on this day about. Counting what do you have available that you can call yours. It's all about it. Kind of taking stock. But for real, you are planning something with it. Big plans that you have for yourself. Something very important business-wise. 
what do you have at your disposal? What values that you have at your disposal? Not just money, your time, your knowledge, everything that is value for you, that you can invest, that you can work with. That's your Tuesday. Again, King of Pentacles in your environment with King of Swords. Now, King of Swords now is within you. Now, being very knowledgeable. Now, here, you are making serious decision. You are cutting away everything that is not needed. You will be cutting away everything that is not needed, that doesn't have a value in your life. For whatever reason, you just say it. I don't need this person way. This is very strict, very sharp energy, very sharp communicator, kind of unemotional, but very knowledgeable. Everything going to be very intellectual and logical and well thought and factual. You're not going to be mistaken with this one. It might feel, it might look a bit cruel with this one, but mistaken, no ways. Okay, particularly if you are pairing it with the King of Pentacles. It could be that you are talking with somebody who is in a very high position in the business, in some sort of business, some business mind. In your company, you are working with this person in this company, but you are shoulder to shoulder equal in rights with this person. Some kind of maybe conversation that you will have with somebody who is in a business, something related to business, to money making. You will perhaps bring some set of rules Okay, which, which you all supposed to obey. That kind of, I think maybe, maybe signing some sort of contract, but it's, it's business contract. It's about money, it's about the business. And you are the one who is setting rules in that contract, in that agreement, in that whatever chat, whatever interaction that you have with this person, business person on Wednesday, you will be one who brings up these rules, ideas about rules and regulations, what is allowed in, the in this business, what is not allowed, how you're going to make money, how you're going to save money, that kind of interaction, two people equal in might discussing it. Another king, king of wands with judgment. Now, King of Wands is Aries person, somebody else. This one is rather friendly one, okay? This person will help you, will be very helpful for, I don't know, for you in order to decide which exactly idea that you're supposed to follow. Because this one can give you good advice, can help you with its two hands, in fact. Not so much about advice as much as practical help show you to show you how to create something in your life how to practically do that yourself how to have your own business if you are about to maybe open your own business maybe sign this first contract you see what i'm saying this person will be with you to show you to tell you to be with you helping you in creating your new reality whatever it is i all the time i really feel it's about business it's about business and career lots of pentacles too many to ignore it no judgment is within you you will be making decision this person will help you i believe it's going to be just helpful to you to make this decision because this will be absolute decision you are very strong decision maker in here after this eight of swords okay on monday where you really felt i think disappointed betrayed or or somehow that what you wanted ended up being not really good for you for whatever reason you turn your energies into this king's energy very strong high authority energies which is really nice it seems you are in control of the situation you only perhaps needed somebody that you can trust and king of wands is one that you can really trust helps you make decision okay and you are making decision this decision will be in a way absolute or maybe karmic not just today and not just you it will affect the whole situation for a prolonged period of time it's not something that you can change every day judgment energy judgment decision will stay for a long time 
kind of I really feel Virgo that you are from Tuesday on kind of very very decisive perhaps you were kind you trusted somebody that will do something for you you told to this person what you want for yourself but when it arrived they said oh that what you wanted but it wasn't it wasn't that what you wanted you took the situation in your hand all right and from there on from there on you are doing very well Tuesday Wednesday Thursday you are very solid I feel you very powerful day now ten of pentacles is completion somehow you will feel that you manage to complete situation in your favor and it's not just in your favor it's good for all it's not that what is on what was on monday okay it's it's not that what was on monday you know it's good maybe for somebody else but it's not for you it wasn't for you that's for sure now it is good for all that how it's supposed to be ten of pentacles everybody's happy happy business good money or money well spent bought something that is important for the home for the business for something ten of pentacles is by all means doing well with money with possession, being happy in your business, being happy in your, in your home, in, with your family, by all means, 100% success with Ten of Pentacles for you and for other people. If you were signing contracts and discussing things with people, because it seems to me you did have people and meetings here, so Wednesday and Thursday discussing things with people, finally, decision that you made, everybody can agree that is good decision, that is good for all. All right, page of cups within you, you are feeling kind of kind of insecure in here, kind of very young, kind of, in, you see, from all these strong energies into the page of cups. After everything succeeded and done, it seems to me you did put some extra effort, something that is unusual, something that you draw from within, just in order to sort out that particular situation, something that and something that was from standing from earlier on, you relied that on somebody to do that for you, somebody disappointed you. Therefore, you needed that extra energy, that extra effort, and you did draw all your energies to finish and to do it properly. You've done it, but then it seems but that depleted your energy and you feel like a child, sensitive child. Maybe at that point you felt you felt that it was a, that it was something wrong because this one is emotionally rather volatile, feeling that you were offended, you were left alone, you were actually you were put in disadvantageous situation, perhaps on purpose. You see what I'm saying? You now finishing done what you've done, you've done everything successfully. But at, that, uh, but at that point you felt depleted, energy depleted and um, emotionally rather vulnerable in here with this page of cups that from Monday came in effect on um, Friday. But it is within you and it follows with four of swords. You will need some time for yourself. You need to clear your mind. You've done everything well, okay? You are a hardworking person, Virgo. Nobody can doubt you, okay? But it seems to me that people neglected to see that you are also a sensitive person. Now, Wheel of Fortune says situation is changing and I believe it is change of luck and in your favor. But you just need some time, need some time to deal with the whole situation. That page of uh, cups is now, perhaps is in full effect on Saturday with this four of swords. We really need to sit somewhere, lay down, meditate, be by yourself. Don't be around with people. You need to be by yourself just to clear your mind, okay, of all that what happened this week, of all this meeting and interactions with people and discussions. And you see what I'm saying? It was intense. Just kings, they very strong, very powerful energies. Lots of energy that you spend this Wednesday, that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Lots of energy that you wasted. It, you, it wasn't waste. You succeeded, all right. But you spent in, in it, in that effort today. 
wheel of fortune things are changing for you you managed to change the situation in your favor something something was in favor monday was really unfavorable you changed that in your favor you've done it it's all right but then but but that took toll on you you know as i said you feel energy depleted you need some time for yourself to find clarity to just the rest to sleep it over, to recuperate, to recharge your batteries. Simple as that. Okay? You are happy that you managed to change the situation. No sun, David, is two majors, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Now, both of these are very secretive, but this one is very faithful. You know, knowing things, very knowledgeable energy, very grounded, suits you very well, this energy of the Hierophant. You will show yourself in your environment as a very knowledgeable but and, and faithful and, and a, a trustworthy person. But you will not reveal everything. You will not show yourself in full light. You're not going to open yourself again. All right, like here, you are not opening yourself. Kind, faithful, knowledgeable, people can rely on you, but you will not rely on other people. You see what I'm saying? The high priestess is within you. You will be very secretive. You will know now what to show to other people, what not to show, what to say, what not to say. Show them just that, just that what you think is suitable for them to see what is important for them to see. So you are a trustworthy person in here. That's your environment. You are showing yourself a very strong. I think the whole week is about it, particularly these three days that you are showing yourself a very strong, very powerful. You will confirm that on Sunday, that how you will present yourself in your environment, but you will be very secretive. It's not going to be all that you're going to show of yourself. Something more, something deep within yourself will stay deep within yourself. You'll not allow people to see all of you. That is kind of your way of protection. How you're going to protect yourself, not to get hurt or, or taken advantage of. By all means, it's a really successful week for you. As I said, it will take toll. You will feel you will, it will deplete your energy, but you will recover. You will adjust yourself in a way, but you will manage to achieve that what you want to achieve. So enjoy it, Virgo.